All right, all right, all right. Pisces, treat me nice, please. What is going on with you, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it with your information with the energy surrounding you for the month of june 2019 what is going on baby did you miss me i sure the hell missed you shout out to everyone who has clicked this video thank you so much for showing love and light over here at scorpion reds tarot what's up with you baby what's going on i hope that you guys click that like button all right as well as subscribe and if you guys would like to book a personal and private reading with me if this video resonates you can feel free to do so all of my information is in the about tab what you need to do is book the link there's a booking tab that says um scorpion reds tarot as simply book me excuse me there's a booking hyperlink it's a blue link that says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me go ahead click that select your reading and then you need to link up with me okay so right under that booking link you'll see a link for my instagram go ahead and click that send me a personal private message and we will uh meet there on the, the date and time that you booked for your um video chat for your reading if you don't have an instagram or prefer not to use instagram there's an option of google hangouts you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com send me a message on google hangouts and we'll be good to go we'll connect there for our video chat if you prefer not to do a video chat or if you want a recap of our reading if you would like me to record our whole session and you want a video of it um you can purchase an add-on all right it's ten dollars it's in the menu um when you're purchasing your reading you can add that on and um if you don't want to get on camera with me what you would do is select the add-on for the direct video upload. You select either Instagram or um, Google Hangouts. Send me a message pertaining what you want to know. Um, I don't need to know the names of people and their birth dates and all of that stuff. I just need to know the question that you want to know. Um, please make sure that you do not tell me the information surrounding why you're asking the question. Because I don't want you to say, well, I just told you that. When, you know, you get your reading, I want it to be, I want to go into it completely not knowing nothing other than what you want to know, okay? So, yeah, so book link, and then, yeah, it's going to be all good. If there's anyone who wants to send love and light to the page, I want to say shout out to everyone who's been showing support to the page. Um, Hold on real quick. Shout out to my baby girl who just sent some love through PayPal. Hold on. I should have already had this up. Let me see. Emmy. And then who else we had? And Letitia. And Letitia. Emmy and Letitia. I want to send big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for sending love and light through the page. Thank you guys so, 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 so very much. As you know, we got the Game of Thrones decks. We got the tea leaf. We got a whole lot of... Oh, also, we got an explicit deck that, unfortunately, it cannot be seen here on um, YouTube. So I had to create a, a, a Patreon, which is cool because we got a lot of great things coming, you guys. So check this out. I got my little speaker. I'm about to um, set up this conference calling thing. I'm not ready for you guys to enroll in the Patreon um, Collective Gatherers membership yet. I'm not ready for you guys to do that because I'm still trying to learn how to use Patreon, okay? So, if there's anyone who knows that y'all are real techie, y'all know how to get everything all hooked up for me, let me know because I'm old, okay? But anyway, what we're doing over there, for the people that cannot afford to purchase a full private reading, what we're doing at Patreon, how, how we used to do the free live readings here on YouTube that I don't do over here anymore. Now, with the whole membership thing, you guys can pay $1.99 a month or $4.99 a month. The $4.99 a month tier is for the real adult-only explicit content because we're going to be doing, like, sex secret spreads with that deck and with my other deck right here, the Tarot Deck of Sexual Magic deck. Mixed up with the tea. I mean, we're going to be going deep. Those cards are graphic. We're going to be doing call-ins where you guys are going to be calling in, getting y'all readings done. Um, it's not going to be full spreads like how it would be 
where you know I'm using like all of these decks like because basically a personal private reading is what I'm doing right now for y'all monthlies for you on a personal level um these are going to be like quick read probably like a five card tarot spread with a few um like oracle decks to clarify so it'll probably be like maybe 10 like probably like 10 to 15 minute readings you know what i'm saying but y'all are definitely going to get y'all's money's worth and i feel like we're going to have a lot of good conversation it's going to be a lot of good we're going to be getting to the tea we're going to be having and mainly i want to be able to connect with y'all on a private level i want you guys to be able to call in and talk to me and you know for everyone in the group to hear what we're talking about and you can see other people reacting and you know i just want it to be where we can like kind of reach out and touch each other and it be in a private atmosphere everybody ain't in your business you ain't on youtube where your reading is being blasted everybody we're in a private atmosphere so the patreon is going to be love y'all just give me a couple of weeks to get it all set up and we're going to be good to go i will get on youtube and i will finally announce like patreon is good y'all going to be seeing me possibly doing some test lives and stuff so yeah so a lot a lot a lot is coming with scorpion reds tarot and i'm trying to tell y'all these spreads that i got going on with these explicit decks honey mm -mm, y'all ain't ready especially for some of y'all that got some curious some curiosity rolling around in your head some sex secrets you trying to figure out what the fuck is really going on with your spouse you think it's some shit going on with the royalty girl, listen, between these tea leaves, girl, we not about to play. So, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. We not about to play around here. So, we about to have a lot of fun, like, to, to all my divine feminines, to, it's the takeover, the wait is over. Oh, we about to tear it up. So, anyway, let's get into this reading. Y'all can time stamp it now to let everybody know we about to start the reading now. All right? So... Shout out to all my Pisces. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Father God, give us guidance for our Pisces. Thank you so much for keeping us so, 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 so fulfilled right now. Father God, we are just trying to be on chill mode. We're really just trying to relax and just, you know, reboot. You know, we are rebooting. We're getting ourselves booted up. We're about to go out there. And we about to tear it up. I feel like Pisces has a lot of plans for the summer. They have a lot of plans for things that are just coming. And um, they just trying to stay focused. They trying to stay diligent. You know, they're trying to do um, their studying and practicing. Whatever it is. Their craft or whatever it is. I feel like they've been working hard. And they're definitely trying to, you know, take progressive steps into having an awesome, awesome rest of the year. So, Father God, thank you so much for all of the progress that we've been having. Father God, please continue to uplift us and keep us in high spirit. Father God, please give us guidance for Pisces for the month of June 2019. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Father God, please give us guidance for my beautiful, my loving Pisces. Thank Thank you so much, honey. All right. Oof. All right. You got us for my Pisces. Thank you. Spirituality. You guys might be seeing a lot of sevens, but this was in reverse. I feel like some of you guys are not in tune to your spirituality. I feel like some of you have maybe been brought up in maybe a very kind of like strict, uh, maybe like religious religious background. Yeah, I'm feeling like this is someone who um grew up in a very strict rigid like religious background and i feel like where they're at in their life like for some reason i feel like there's no that there's not a level of understanding with the spiritual base and background that they come from in the path that they're on now why am i saying this Give me guidance. 
Excuse me, Cadence. Please clarify, Pisces. Um, Page of Swords. Researching. Eight of Cups moving forward. Being self consumed of drinking, substance abuse, the moon, secrets, anxiety, scared to follow intuition. I feel like there could be some car problems or something like. I feel like there might be some issues with travel or some travel delay or maybe some bad weather or something. I feel like, like you moving, you going somewhere, but I feel like there's like a halt and delay. You did a lot of research. You did a lot of studying with this page of swords here. You did a lot of investigation before you made a move. You know, you sent that little bird out there to kind of survey the land and kind of figure out what was going on. You know, kind of like spying. So y'all could have been spying on somebody. Y'all could have been spying on someone and y'all could have got some information back that uh, forced you to drink, that drove you to drink. You know what I'm saying? Whereas like you kind of just like left everything behind and you moved forward. Or I kind of get regret in this. I feel like. I feel like regretfully. I feel like it was something. Because I'm feeling like this is someone that was searching for some like truth or some clarity or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's some spying in this too. I feel like there's some spying. But it was like. I feel like this was like some inner truth and clarity to maybe why someone maybe been acting immature or something like that um yeah i feel like there was like a lack of growth of someone growing up like someone is like possibly maybe a grown man but still acts very immature or something like that and i feel like if something happened where it's just like regretfully like they had to move on because look at him like he is the shuffled he is the shuffle whatever happened i feel like something regretfully happened where he had to move on and it was something where he was having to search and figure out like why the fuck he just be doing immature dumb shit or whatever and i feel like he's all also was looking at other people and then like whatever he seen it was just like or like this bird came back with some information about some shit while he was investigating doing some inner self work and whatever the fuck he found out and it drove him to drink and he moved the fuck on because he didn't really have a choice but to do it that's really what i'm getting and then um the moon here it's that pisces car um I feel like there was two very big shakeups, and whatever the hell happened, I feel like everyone is looking at you. You see how the the the, the dogs is looking at the the animal in the in the in the water. You know, I feel like you being kind of called out. I feel like you're ever being called out. Ever your intuition is like pulling certain pulling certain things out of you to make you address it. Before you move forward. Because it's like. You can't move forward like this. You can't move forward like this. And like this means immature communication. So I feel like. Maybe whatever you've been asking spirit for. To help you with. It's like immature communication. Because they're like. You want me to help you move forward. And you moving forward like this. Like a lush. And you holding on to shit. You ain't really trying to. See, regardless, you can't hide nothing from spirit. Spirit sees everything. So it's like, you know, there's a reason why you're driving yourself to drink and you just had to walk away from everything like that. There's a reason. I feel like there's a deep, dark, there's a deep kept secret that's going on with this Pisces or someone is dealing with this Pisces. 
And I feel like you're being called out to address it. Because you can't just walk around like that. You know what I'm saying? You can't walk around like that. And whatever you did, I feel like spiritually you, you know it was wrong. You knew it was immature. And that's why it's like you are being forced to at a at a at a at a at a almost like a young adult level. Like it's it, it's like spirit is having to treat you like a young adult instead of like a man. You you see what I'm saying? Because it's like almost that's like how you're acting. So it's like let me you know it's like. Cause this is someone that's possibly having some type of frustration. Like, cause you see how he got his sword there and he's looking up to the sky like, but I'm a man, I'm a man. And then it's like, spirit is like, well, you, you, you have this bravado and you have this, you know, these thoughts about yourself, but let me show you the truth as to the results of your actions. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I'm saying this bird came back with some information. And whatever the results of the actions was drove this person to drink and made them realize that they had to move on. But Spirit was like, uh-uh. You can't move on like this. You cannot move on like this. I'm not allowing you to move on like this. So number one, we want to address what the fuck you did. Because you spying and you looking back at something. You looking at something. And also, you may be even having, like, petty little stupid-ass arguments with people that could be driving you to drink or driving someone else to drink. And then it's like you keep it secret. You're not even telling the whole truth. So it's like, how are you really expecting anything to move forward when it's like it's certain things in the past that you ain't really letting go and you ain't really trying to address? I feel I heard spiritually corrupt like it's a spiritual corrupt person like this person come from better it's like I don't know what the fuck happened to this person where they just fell far off of the fucking wagon like they fell far off of the wagon and I feel like all of this drinking and evidence like smoking drinking doing something where this person has like a lot of anxieties they are fearful Ain't dealing with like a lot of insecurities. And I feel like spirit is just looking at them and calling them out like, look, Slim. Look, come on out here. Let me talk to you. I'm going to tell you why nothing isn't moving forward. Your spirit ain't right. Your spirit ain't right right now. It's something that's going on in you that you... You need to dig deep and you need to pull that out so we can have a communication and a talk about this shit. So we can come to some understanding about what it is that you're feeling inside and what it is you're unhappy about. It's something that is going on with Pisces. They're unhappy with something, but it's something that's inside of them because it's like it's for them to sit there and drink all of them cups like that. Being this self-consumed, it's like you're trying to drink your pain away. But what happened? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is someone that possibly need to go back to their childhood and address what the fuck happened to them. You know what I'm saying? Might be that. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like something triggered. I don't know. It's like they were good, but then they fell off the wagon like shit. Queen of Pentacles. You got a queen of pentacles in your environment, but it doesn't look like she is receptive to your offer. This woman looks at you like you're a snake and her eyes are closed and she's resting. So this shows to me that there's somebody that this Pisces considers the queen of pentacles. This is a good mother. This is someone that they consider a wife, someone that they look to that they feel like should be the mother of their children or and or is the mother of their children but this person is completely closed off to you and this person looks to you as a snake they do not need a pinnacle from you they're not even aware that you're offering them anything at all at this current moment do you understand what i'm saying and this person could possibly be um a taurus a virgo or a capricorn woman Hmm. Yeah, 
this is something this is a situation where um there was an ending i feel like this person looks at this person looks at the pisces or whatever the pisces looks at this um towards virgo capricorn as if they were mentally manipulative that they are a backstabber that they betrayed them they are impulsive um I don't I don't want to say violent. I don't really get violent, but I I feel like it was a it was a extremely volatile disruption in their life, this person. And I feel like they didn't really see you coming. I feel like it was like almost a sneak attack. And I feel like this uh Taurus Virgo Capricorn, what they experienced by the hands of this Pisces. It took them a long time to kind of heal and mentally get over the pain and get over the fact of how destroyed they were by this person, like humiliating and, and, and just doing what they did to them like that. And like they're completely sleep on you and they are not, they are over it. Like they are over it. But I definitely feel like this snake wants to come and try to offer and I'm not trying to call nobody a snake but I mean the snake is in the picture and she sleep you know what I'm saying she sleep resting getting over this shit you see what I'm saying that's like a distant memory to this person and I feel like what spirit is trying to tell you is like you gotta spiritually get yourself right you gotta get yourself together before you can even think about offering anybody anything at all. Because it's still a lot of shit that you hide. And it's still a lot of shit that you need to address. It's a lot of insecurities. And it's a lot of anxieties. I feel like your anxiety written. I feel like you drink yourself to sleep. And it's like you, 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 you're searching, 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 searching for this inner truth. But... Spirit is calling you out on some shit that you need. And it's like you're not going to be able to go forward on this voyage to offer anyone anything until you can come to them something better than being a snake trying to creep out of a fucking tree while a motherfucker's sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Like this somebody, and I'm not trying to be vulgar, which I already know I don't give a shit about that. This is somebody like, you know like ladies, if your man want to have sex with you and shit like that, you know... Talk to me when I'm awake. Like, try to get me when I'm awake. Like, why every time we have sex, it's when I'm asleep and you try to sneak freak me at night. Like, now don't try to sneak freak freak me, offer me shit at night while I'm sleeping. Not, like, nigga, um, offer me something in the daytime when I'm awake and I'm aware and I can actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, that's what I'm getting. It's like some sneaky, immature, self-consumed, not really thinking about well you thought you was about to do that but God stopped you throat chakra obstacles and challenges mm -hmm. shadow I told you you gotta dig in that shadow or something that damn firm foundation destiny alright man this is what I'm about to tell you listen to you need to get to the point where you can speak your truth. You need to speak your truth. That's why it's like <laughs> you're having to go back to some shit when you were younger. Something when you were younger. You need to go and you need to go search back to that because something happened where it's like you, no matter how old you are, it's like you just don't want to grow up for some reason. It's like you don't want to grow up and you're extremely self-consumed. This is someone that is very narcissistic. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm telling you what's here. This is someone that's very narcissistic and they're hiding big ass secrets. And I definitely feel like it's something about their past. It's something about their past. 
And I don't think God is going to allow you to offer nothing to nobody no more. And to you offer yourself change. And you fix yourself. Because at the end of the day, as a man, to be walking around with a set of anxiety in your chest and fears. And just, you know, not able to trust your intuition. You blocking your spirituality out. Like, mm-mm. Because for real... What you did to this woman, you was you you did you was acting like a snake. You really was. You need to even in this destiny card, like she's holding her heart. And you see all of these many faces. You're gonna have to face all of these many faces in order to get to your destiny and where your heart truly lies. You understand what I'm saying? Firm foundation. You need to get yourself grounded and rooted and know who you are and stand true in that. You you have to go through the shadow. You gotta you gotta go through the dark to get to the light. It's like you and, and, and this is what I'm getting. This is someone that really is not trying to face their obstacles and challenges and shit. They really ain't trying to walk over that path. Okay? Cause you got a little bit more work to do with that. You know what I'm saying? You really do. You got deeper work to do with that because you got the shadow that came out right next to that. So I'm taking that as someone. You are not really trying to understand it. You. You got to go deep and you got to deal with this in order to come out. Good and get to your destiny. And I feel like you need to speak this truth to yourself. This is what happened to me, or this is what I did. I know that this is probably why I've been fucking my life up, keep making the same bad decisions or whatever, whatever. I need to talk to somebody about this, or woo, woo, woo. I'm not ashamed to say, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it was it was something, like I don't give a damn what y'all said. It was something that happened to this Pisces. It was something that happened to this Pisces. Mm hmm Yeah. Either somebody hurt this person or you don't just wake up and just start acting like that. And even the dark, the dark, the shadow, it's just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on here. No. Give me a unicorn card. Give me a unicorn oracle card for my Pisces, please. Freedom in reverse. It says, live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. You're not living your life free. I feel like. I'm not I'm not going to lie. Like, I really do feel like it's, it might be someone that's living like. That might be gay. I don't know why. Like, this is screaming to me. I don't know. Like, I don't know why this is screaming to me. That's screaming to me. Like, that's screaming to me, huh? I feel like something happened to someone when they were younger. And it's something that they've been battling inside. And it's nothing wrong with being who you are. But I feel like something happened to them when they were a child and they don't like. They feel like it's a perversion. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't like. That they feel different. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I'm and I'm sorry, like, but I gotta tell y'all what I'm really feeling. Like, I, I really do, and I'm sorry. I really do. I feel like this is someone that can't live their truth. Like, I feel like this is someone that is dealing with challenges because I feel like. They're ashamed of, of, number one, they're ashamed and it's hard for them to talk. It's hard for them to talk to people about what happened to them as a man. This is something that happened when they were younger. And this is something that they need to 
search deeper and they need to you know what I'm saying research and try to figure out what they need to do to help them because it was something that helped happen to them that stunted their growth or they weren't able to grow because I feel like this person ever drinks a lot or is ever self-consumed or, or um, a sex addict or something where they're like they overindulge in something you know what I'm saying and it's because of of the secret you see what I'm saying and it's like look you can't you can't you gotta address this shit you gotta look deeper you gotta go talk to somebody you got you can't you can't do this I'm not letting you keep going forward and coming to people offering shit to people and you coming off like a snake and you hurting people because you're hurt you're spiritually broken. Like, this is what I'm feeling like. This person is spiritually broken. I'm sorry, y'all, because I feel bad. I feel like I want to cry. No, like, I'm serious because, like, this is what's going on. Like, and I'm sorry. I got I got to tell y'all what I'm feeling. I got to tell y'all what I'm feeling. And, like, I feel like that's why this person, this person don't want to be like this. I feel like this person... Don't want to have these feelings. This person don't want to have these thoughts. They just want to be regular. But I feel like something happened to them. And I feel like that y'all need to talk to someone. Y'all need to talk to some. Y'all need to talk to someone. Because right now it's a lot of darkness. And y'all are scared to. I feel like y'all are scared to face that obstacle. Y'all are scared. Y'all are scared to walk over this bridge to face this obstacle and this challenge. Y'all are scared to do that. Because you know. Listen. Because this, this is how I was laying down. You know, to, in order to get firmly grounded and for you to be solid as a rock, you got to address that dark before you can even see the light. You got to deal with this first. But see, this is what this person's been doing. This person's been walking around like they all like, like, no, I'm good. You know, what they be saying? Namaste, namaste, son. I don't listen. I don't know what y'all be talking about. Okay? Namaste, namaste. Y'all be talking all of that stuff. And for real, for real, you more this than you is, 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 is this. And I'm not saying it's a front because this is who you are truly, but... You got to You got Man, listen. Y'all know what I'm saying. And I don't feel like I'm tripping. I feel bad. It's like sometimes I be feeling bad because it's like, I don't want to say this. But, man, like, I would be a fucked up person if I don't tell y'all the truth what I'm about to see here. And no. No. And, like, some people can't handle it and some people can't. I just, I'm just trying to help. And I know that this hurts and this is not easy to hear. It's not. It's not. But you can't. You're going to be a, a, a upset person. You're going to be unhappy. It don't matter what woman you date. What, um, or if you're a female. It don't matter what man you date. Or whatever. You got to you gotta be true to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Unapologetic. You got to love yourself. If you don't love yourself. You're walking around in the prison. You walking around in a, in a in a physical prison inside of yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Release yourself from that prison and be you. People that truly love you, we gonna love you regardless. I know I love you regardless. I want you to stop hurting yourself, cause you hurting yourself by not addressing these things. And you know what I'm saying? And I feel you because it's like you don't want to feel these things. You don't want, I don't, I feel like it was something, something happened. But you need to talk about it. And if it's something that you like, you fucking like it. Don't be ashamed. Because I feel like this is someone that is hiding and is drinking. And because it's like it's driving them crazy two swords in reverse 
And it's like, you know, God, you know good and damn well. It's like, you, you very much so can see. You can see. And you know exactly what you need to do. And you know how you need to go about doing it too. You do. You know what you got to do. Six of Spears. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Working on yourself, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, third party. All right. All right. All right, so look. I feel like this person has been living in two different worlds. And it doesn't... And, 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 if, and like I said, the thing about the... The secret. That secret. Right? That's for a certain group of people. But there most definitely is someone that has a secret. And it's been driving them to drink. And it and they've been acting very immature. And they've been sleezing and snaking around. They've been living in two different worlds for a while now. And I feel like they almost blindfully walk into situations um, kind of knowing that it's going to be fucked up. But it's like I kind of don't give a fuck. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like this person just really likes the attention. You know what I'm saying? This person just likes the attention. This person just likes to be celebrated and just for people to like kind of gloat and gleam over them and you know to give them things and to celebrate them and like I said they like the attention. That's probably another thing that was an issue for them when they were younger. I feel like in their household they didn't get any attention. So I feel like this is something that this person really didn't see as a problem or see that this was something that they were doing and why they were fucking up so many relationships because it's like this person realizes now that they need to stop juggling because they they go and get their self in these situations looking to be glorified and wanting attention from people but they really can't pay it back you know what i'm saying like the attention that they giving to you you can't give it to them because you got something else that you dealing with like i said this is someone in two different worlds you see so it's like not just one person gets hurt but the two to three is you gets hurt honestly you know what i'm saying because this person has to learn to stop juggling and like at the end of the day what's the saying up upright in his Game of Thrones that Lannisters always pays their debts. This person don't it's like a false Lannister. Like this person ain't got no money. This person be writing checks that they ass can't cash. All because they want some glorified attention. And at this point in time in this person's life, they know good and goddamn well. Listen, this shit, this is them taking that blindfold off and seeing, listen, I need to pick and choose a direction to go. I can't stay in this mental crossroads for the rest of my life and trying to please Tweedledee and Tweedledum, you know? I can't. Like, I can't. I need freedom. I need freedom. 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 And this is you realizing, that, look, I like the attention from them both, but I got to let one go. Not only that, I have to put a lot of work in. I have to actually work. I got to try to clean up my reputation a little bit. You know? I got I, I, I to gotta put a lot of work in. Because at the end of the day, what I did is I brought other people into a situation that at one time was a good, a happy, fulfilling, and emotional situation. Okay? And in, in, in the upright, everything was working together. Y'all were building a new foundation together. Y'all could have possibly had kids. Y'all playing along in the sunshine. Could have known each other for years. You know what I'm saying? But something was illuminated. Something was illuminated that there was other 
things of the elements that was lurking and looming around in this foundation. There was a crack in this foundation. Somebody was brought into this foundation that they, that, listen, a marriage is two people, not three. Or ever, this is someone that is getting counsel from somebody else I didn't ask for. You know what I'm saying? Someone putting other people, having everybody all in y'all relationship and things like that. People giving advice or trying to help when it's not helping, it's making it worse. You see what I'm saying? So, this person, this, this freedom card. You got to drop one. And whatever one that you're going to keep, you're going to have to work on it. You can't bring other people into your foundation thinking that it's like, I, I, don't, I don't know, like. No one wants to build a home. You know what I'm saying? Build a house. With a third person. It's just like I just need a team. A team is one, two people. Two people. Me and my partner. I don't need no, I don't need nobody else. You see what I'm saying? So that's what this person is just like. I don't need nobody else. That bought me a whole bunch of unhappiness. All because this person likes glorified attention. So let's find out what's going on in love with my Pisces. I f and I also feel like because this looks like a church house or something that they were building, and this is in the reverse, I feel like maybe this person didn't believe in, like, marriage or something like that. And they didn't believe in the foundation of marriage. They didn't believe in the foundation of having marriage in a home. Free yourself in reverse. <clears throat> Forgiving and learning in reverse. It's like you're not letting go. You're not forgiving people for the things that happened in the past. And, and you're not forgiving and you're not learning from it. And you need to do this very soon. Because it's affecting your love life. This ain't no more honeymoon stage with just shit is just sweet no more. Shit ain't going to be sweet. You understand what I'm saying? And this keeping an open mind and relationships is in the reverse too. I feel like the sweet the sweet stage of just like romance or whoever that you've been dealing with, like the sweet stage of that shit is over. I don't think that you're keeping an eye out for this person. And it's like you need to separate from this person and you just don't know how to. Whoever this Pisces is, they're dealing with someone. The honeymoon stage is over. They need to free themselves from this person. And it's something. Okay, so. This Pisces or having a pi the person dealing with Pisces. They got themselves in a situation with somebody. That they need to free themselves from. But they don't know how to. Okay. They don't forgive themselves for this shit. And yet. They're not learning from it neither because they're not doing anything. They're not doing anything about it. And they need to do something very soon because the sweet stage is over. It's over. That part is over, my love. They're not, they're not even keeping an open mind about this. They're not optimistic about this. They know that they need to separate. They just don't know how to. Hmm. Give me guidance about how this Pisces feel about this person that I just feel like spiritually you just all off. You just like not grounded. It's like all of this chaos is going on in your life and it's just like you just sitting there like duh duh. Like you just don't understand. Like you don't understand anything. You know, and it's like I need you to really sit down and like spiritually analyze and come to some level of understanding what the fuck and why the fuck all of this shit is happening. Where it stems from. Where it stands from.
give me guidance for my Pisces. Thank you. I just feel like I just you are never far from my mind. Tell me how Pisces feels about this person. Am I good enough for you? Pisces doesn't. Pisces thinks about you a lot, but when they think about you, they always think, are they good enough for you? I mean, because it's saying this person was giving you the attention and the, the desires that you wanted, but you weren't able to pay the favor back for whatever reason because you were in two different worlds. It's like, how can you, you know? So it's like, I'm afraid to take the that step right now. You are special to me even though I told you otherwise. I'm just doing what I have to do right now. Alright, so that's Pisces. I just, I honestly feel like, I feel like Pisces is living a lie. I don't know. I feel like Pisces is living a lie. I feel like they have a lot of insecurities. I mean, am I good enough for you? Like, they, they talk down on themselves a lot. Like, it's some shit. It's some deep-rooted shit. I don't know if their mother fucked them up. If something happened to them where they deal with a lot of insecurities, a lot of anxieties. Like, they overthink a lot. They overanalyze about the wrong shit. And, like, they could possibly be drinking or doing drugs or, like, overindulging in sex and shit. And I just feel like, spiritually, they're just all the fuck off kilter. And they need to withdraw from all that shit and, like, go into, like, a moment of contemplation. And, like, some real deep self-discovery, like, you know, Dark Knight of the Soul type of shit. And do, like, some real deep shadow searching and figuring out what the core of, of you know, so they can get their back together. They can get their backbone together. Guidance for Pisces. Give me guidance for how this person who is dealing with Pisces feels about Pisces. How does this person feel about Pisces? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. So the person that was that's dealing with Pisces says that the grass wasn't greener. My mind and my heart always comes back to you. I'm a better person because of you. I just wasn't ready for you. Alright. We will be together again. Alright. So it looks like this person does really care about you Pisces. And I mean they definitely try to move on without you. But they still feel like there, there's no one better than you. There's no one better than you Pisces. My heart, my mind always comes to you. I'm a better person because of you. Because I'm trying to tell you, like, this person is Pisces. They are, like, the way that they grew up, they grew up spiritually grounded or, like, in a religious household or something. And I just feel like whoever they were dealing with, like, spiritually, it was, like, a level of connectiveness with them. And I just felt like right now, their spiritual tie, that bond, that connection it's just been broken like this Pisces is not on the same spiritual wavelength with this person anymore and they're saying I just wasn't ready for you we'll be together again soon I just feel like they wasn't and I honestly feel like the reason why they're saying that, I really do feel like Pisces has a lot of problems that they needed to deal with and a lot of issues. I really do feel like a lot of whining or a lot of, and I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful. I'm just telling you the truth. I feel like a lot of, like, as a, like, because if this person doesn't drink or have a drinking problem, it's just like everything is about me, 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 like not really thinking or caring about no one else like this person could possibly been lazy um because this man looks disheveled his 
facial hair all grown out, like possibly not wanting to work. Um, just laying around drinking and just like kind of being a slouch or something. Like they just like went off. Like I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. Anyway, give me guidance. Because this man is so scruffy. Like, that's why I'm saying. Look at this picture, y'all. Don't he look real scruffy? Look at him. Look at him. Look at all them cups. A mess. Like, this person is a mess. Even his clothes look. Mm -hmm. Like, his life could have been better if he would have worked hard. If he wouldn't have had... I feel like this person sits back and cries about their issues and about their childhood and this person did that to me and that's why I can't do this shit or they be on that black man, black man, the black man can't do nothing because of the system and this man fucking bullshit. I hate man. I oh God. I just blocked somebody early in my comments for that shit. Like please don't. Anyway. What is this? This is the um. Huh. It's the Queen of Pentacles. In reverse, she got her back turned to you. This Queen of Pentacles felt like she had to work harder than you in this relationship. You see how worn out and how torn her chair is? Her chair is very worn out. She felt like the man in this situation. And she felt like if she was going to have to work that hard, she might as well be by herself. She was in a mental prison or whoever was in a mental prison about the situation. But you see that they realized that they are breaking free. That eagle above their head, they realize that they're ready to soar. And they're not really as trapped and as bounded and as mentally caught up on this situation as they were. Because they're like, man, I put the work in. I made this shit. I made this shit successful. You know what I'm saying? And... Uh, the woman in this, in this, whoever the woman is in this situation, I feel like they might have walked out of the situation bankrupt. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why it's like this person. You see, they got a Queen of Pentacles up here again. Like, she still got her back turned to you. She sleep on you. It's like whatever this person is trying to offer. She sleeps, she playing dead, she playing sleep because she know you a snake. She sees you in the actual form of the creature that you are, not in a human form. You understand what I'm saying? She knows that. She knows that now. And it's like, now she's looking at her finances and just like everything that she's put into the situation. And she's like, why am I so mentally tied up into this situation where I could like break free? Like you actually had a sword right behind your back that you just cut yourself out of this shit burden listen this shit was a burden that this person carried for far too long they almost felt like it was cemented in their life like this wasn't like they wouldn't be anything more than a person carrying the burdens of this relationship you know what i'm saying see that statue that's a statue of them being a laborer being a peasant worker and they're like, I don't want to be known for this shit for the rest of my life. Like, this person felt like they they were going to be the ones that were going to be, if they continued with this person, they would be carrying this shit for the rest of their fucking life. And they wouldn't be nothing no more than that. And they put, they're the one that put in all the work. They're the one that paid all the bills. They're the ones that made all the decisions. They're the one that did everything. While this person just sat back and was self-consumed. Only thought about what they wanted, what they needed. And if they couldn't get what they wanted, what they needed, they cried and they brought up bullshit about what shit happened to them in the past. And they made excuses for why they can't be successful, why they can't do nothing and they can't get off of the couch. They can't go get a career because of what happened to them in the past. And it looks like this person skipped the fuck off. Okay. This person skipped off. There go those two. Of, listen. There go those two of, uh. Those two of pinnacles again. Look like this person has skipped off. Because they got tired of everyone looking at them. Looking a goddamn fool. You see everybody looking. You see everybody looking. I feel like this Pisces. Or whoever this was that was dealing with this Pisces. Was juggling. Okay. 
was juggling this Pisces or this Pisces was, was juggling them for everybody to see. It was a burden on them and they felt humiliated. Mm -mm. It's a star in reverse. This person realized that I'm worth way more than this. Maybe I need to pour out that faulty foundation, that faulty spiritual foundation that I was believing in. I feel like this is someone that may have had some type of spiritual faith system or something that they don't believe in anymore. Like they're pouring that shit out and they're looking at, they're looking at their shadows, like they're facing that shadow shit. And it's like maybe some bullshit or like, um, Something like they just don't believe in this shit. I feel like this is this this right here might be someone that maybe their whole life was controlled by a church or like a organization or some shit like that. And they're just like, I don't believe in that shit no more because that shit doesn't feed my soul. Like, and I feel like maybe they got into I feel like this shit might might be a whole bunch of church drama right here. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like some mess going on in the church. And I feel like everyone knew that the, the, their partner was cheating on them or something like that. And it's like, what the fuck has, has me being loyal to this? Look, spirituality. What the fuck has this brought me? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it didn't bring me anything. Because this is supposed to be a man of the cloth. This is supposed to be a man of uh, God or this spirit based base you know type of thing but this person was self-consumed you know and i feel like this person whoever this self-consumed person was dealing with they don't believe in that shit anymore they went through the storm with this person and i feel like because they felt so deeply in love with this person and they were working so hard trying to make things right trying to put things together literally indoctrinating a new way of life a new everything because of this person like they 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 you know i feel like they transformed their life in for this person and they, and they carried a lot of shit for this person only for it to bring them a lot of storms. And now they don't found happiness. This person's found happiness. This person's found sunshine. I feel like everything. They went through the darkness. And they went through their dark night of the soul. And figured out why the fuck are they even dealing with this shit. And once they decided to pour out that fuck shit. And they got through the storm. They found happiness. And now this person is out there with these three of cups out there celebrating. I don't even think that they care about no commitments or no anything like that. They're just out there having a good time. And they're celebrating this new life. They're having a good time. They feel born again. They feel born again. I don't even think that they give a fuck about having no relationship with nobody. Why this other person is sad. I don't know if this is Pisces or if this... Whoever this is, this sad person that is sitting back waiting for this other person to come back. And, and you know, not realizing that this situation is dead. This is someone trying to revitalize or uh, bring back the dead almost. You know what I'm saying? It's like... The seeds that you planted here, it didn't amount to nothing. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, stop sitting back with your pouty face. Like, see, that that that's the, that's, yeah, that's this one. Pouty face. Always whining, crying about something. Crying because someone left something in the dust. Because they decided not to wait anymore. Because whatever it was that you was planting, they don't want what you planted. You try, you try and bring about some bullshit. And you're not spiritually grounded no more. The person I thought you were, you're not even that person no more. So it's like, no. Stop trying to research this ending like it's done. You need to fix yourself. You need to fix yourself. You need to get yourself spiritually grounded. Because this person has left and they went on without you. I do feel like they, they do feel like the grass wasn't greener. But they still out there mingling, having fun. They still not accepting what you're offering them. You understand what I'm saying? They poured that out. They got tired of you skipping around. 
juggling them and somebody else or being in two different worlds and shit like that. Having it be that you are cheating and you got two different people because you in the church house cheating. I don't know if you high on your sexuality. Whatever this person looks at you as the snake. And this person is not bothered by you no more. They've moved on. They found happiness. Now that everything that they, they know everything. They see you for who you are. They moved on and they found happiness and they're rejoicing. They ain't looking for nothing serious and they damn sure ain't looking for you. So listen, you need to get yourself spiritually together. And if this was a hard message, I'm sorry, but y'all need to hear this shit. Hurt people hurt people. If you're not living in your truth, why you think why you why you think you acting like that? Why you think you always crying, whining, pouting? Come on. Only thing you should be waiting on is for you to stand up and be who the fuck you are so that you can be happy. Because once you stand up and you really are free, free, not giving a fuck about what nobody think about you being free, you'll attract the right people for, um, to you that need to be around you and you'll truly be happy. And you ain't hurting nobody and ain't nobody going to try to hurt you. Clean up that karma. I love you. Peace.